Hey guys, uh, I got another battle report for you. Um, it's against the same army and same guys last time, my friend Jim. Um, Warriors of Chaos, 2,000 points versus Brett's 2,000 points. Um, this is actually turn one after his movement. I didn't take a lot of pictures this time, and I'm sorry about that, so it's going to be kind of scattered around. But um, this is pretty much, I'll, I'll say pretty much all you need to know. Um, so deployment, starting with him on the left. You've got five Chaos Knights with the sword and shield, and the black model is going to be his Sorcerer Lord on a steed, uh, level four. And then you've got to the right of that 18 warriors. Um, actually, it might be 17 warriors, and uh, he's got Wolfric the uh, Wanderer in there, special character. Uh, in the woods, you have 18 warriors of Chaos, sword and shield. And to the right of that is going to be 18 more warriors with great weapons and a chariot. Um, so my left is going to be 16 uh, peasant bowmen. Um, to the right is going to be 30 men at arms with the damsel level 2 and a prophetess level 3. Uh, level 3 prophetess has the lore of life um, and the level 2 damsel has the lore of beasts. Uh, my lord is on the Pegasus. He's the challenge lord with the uh, Gauntlet of the Duel, the Helm of Discord, the Killing Blow Lance. Um, yeah, I think that's it. Oh, and the um, the Virtue of Confidence. So I reroll hits and wounds in a challenge. Um, my unpainted, just finished, assembled Grail Reliquy. And to the right is going to be five questing knights with the wailing banner. Um, to the right of that is nine uh, knights of the realm with the war banner and the BSB with the banner of the lady. Off to the far right, you can see the corner of it, is going to be seven uh, knights errant with the uh, round tree banner. And you can't see it, but it's off to the right is my trebuchet. So, turn one, he moved up. Um, he went into the woods, and we rolled to see what woods they are, and they're the blood woods, which, if a, ca if a spell is cast successfully in or out of the woods, the woods go into a feeding frenzy and do d6 strength 4 wounds on, um, or d3, d6 strength 4 hits on uh, the unit inside. And uh, I had the awakening of the woods from the lore of life, so I, so I thought that, uh, that was going to be in my favor. Uh, but I never got that spell off, so it kind of sucks. Um, my turn, I don't have a picture for it uh, until after combat. But my um, my knights charged the warriors. And I think the men-at-arms and the grail reliquy moved up a little bit. Nothing else pretty much happened to that. So, uh, turn two. Chaos, pretty much stayed where they are, or moved up um, a little bit. I mean, he was waiting for me to do most of the charging, which I thought was bad for him, because um, Brett's uh, charge is pretty much all I got. So I charged his um, Chaos Warriors and demolished them. Uh, didn't take a single wound, killed 10. And since I have the BSB, the Virtue of Duty, the War Banner, and a lot of ranks. I won that probably, I think, by 11 or so. And he needed double ones to rally and didn't, and I ran him down. Um, I think that was it for turn two. Magic did some damage to my, um, my archers, and that was about it. Um, my... Archers fired at the knights, didn't do a wound, but my trebuchet fired at it and got right square in the center of it that deviated off to the left, and it still clipped one knight and his sorcerer lord, and he failed his lookout, sir. So he took the wound, and one knight died. So I was pretty happy about that. That's pretty much paid the trebuchet's points back already. All right, so we go to turn three. Um, after killing the Chaos Warriors, 
uh, he was pretty scared of my knight, so he reformed around and charged my uh, men at arms with the other warrior. And I don't know why he did it, but he left his knights on the hill. I don't know if he was just scared of some, I don't know, some spell I had, or he was just waiting to reform around and hit my flanks. I, I wasn't too sure. Um, Chariot moved around to attack my trebuchet and eventually killed it. Um, my questing knights charged through the woods and into the flank of his warriors because he reformed around, um, afraid of my knights, because I reformed around. Um, charged into the flank of them, lost one to dangerous terrain, and went into combat not looking too happy, but I was hoping since they had terror he was going to run, and he didn't. Um, I didn't do a single wound to him. He did nothing back. Um, no, I think he did one back. He killed one, and I still won by one, just because I charged, had the flank, and the banner, and he only had the the kill and a rank or two. Um, yeah, two ranks. So I won by one, which is weird, and he failed his leadership. He rolled a nine or ten, and he had leadership eight. Um... Didn't run him down, but ran him far enough where he can get to the table edge, and next turn I ran him off the edge. Um, that's pretty much it for now. I'll get back to you on the uh, second recording.